Hello. My name's Zuli. I'm Agnes. Are you here to put rocks in front of my cave? No, of course not. Are you here to scare me away? No, I heard you roaring, and I just wanted to see if you were okay. Oh. Are you okay? Well, it's just... My nose really hurts. Oh no, I'm sorry. Let's take a look. I need your help. Do you see what's hurting the dragon? There's something on her nose. There's a thorn. You're right. There's a thorn stuck in her nose. Thanks for your help. I know what the problem is. There's a thorn stuck in your nose. You were smelling the roses, weren't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, they look so pretty. And I wanted to know if they smelled pretty, too. And they did! They do smell really pretty. But they have thorns. Oh, they do? I didn't know that. Would it be okay if I pulled it out? It'll make you feel better. Oh, would you? Please? That is much better. <laughs> Meanwhile, down at the castle, King Gobi and his subjects were leaving the Kingdom of Roses forever. All right, everyone. Let's get out of here. Forward ho! I really wish we didn't have to leave. Me too. Hey, what's that? <laughs> And she's my friend. I went to find out why she was roaring. And it wasn't because she was mad or bad. It was because she had a thorn stuck in her nose. Oh! Those thorns can be sharp. We're, We're sorry, sorry, Agnes. It's okay. I know my roars can be a little... surprising. <laughs> Rawr! <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's do this. Uh, it's really dark in here. Is this the right place, Captain Demo? Sure is. Hi there. I'm Midnight Zone Expert Zuli. Oh, we have something for you from Admiral Grouper. Gilly, one more time. Hmm. Come all you young guppies all over the sea. You're all good friends to me. Friendship Day wishes we sing unto thee. Good friends we always shall be. Thank you. Happy, Happy Friendship, Friendship Day. Day. Happy Friendship Day. What do you do here, Zuli? I study the sea animals who live in this unusual habitat. Sea animals can live down here? Sure, lots of them. Anglerfish, sea cucumbers, eels, and viperfish. But how can you see what you're doing here with so little light? Oh, Lumi helps me. Ah! <laughs> Don't be scared. She's a bioluminescent jellyfish. She can make her body light up. I wish we could stay, but we have to get back home for our friendship day party. No, you don't. We don't? Nope, because Admiral Grouper's friendship day party is right here. Awesome! Oh! Uh... But how can we have a party in the dark? Don't worry. My bioluminescent friends can light up the party. Show them, Lumi. Awesome! Friendship Day! 
Excuse me. Dinosaur! What time is it? It's time, time for, for lunch. lunch. What time is it? It's time for lunch. What time is it? It's time for lunch. What time is it? It's time for lunch. It's lunch time. Hey, what's for lunch? I got a grilled cheese and an ice cream sandwich. I got peanut butter and jelly and an ice cream cone. I got peanut butter and banana and... an ice cream stone? <laughs> an ice cream stone? That's silly! <laughs> so what are you doing all the way out here in the jungle? We're looking for geodes. There's a rock show tonight. And I want to win best rock. Cool! Have you seen any geodes around here? They're kind of round or egg-shaped. Like these? They were up near the top of the volcano. Whoa! Look at all those. Hey, Gobi! I think I really found one this time. Over here! Ta-da! A geode. Well, it is egg-shaped, but I think that's because it's... An, an egg? egg? Uh-oh. A baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, did you say Tyrannosaurus Rex? Uh-huh. And I think she's calling for her mommy. Aw. Wait, what? to the rainforest to sell umbrellas, but some howler monkeys took them. Those were your umbrellas? Oh, silly monkeys. I'm sorry. The howler monkeys worry about me because I'm always out here in the rainforest getting wet. You could have really used one of our umbrellas. Well, I can't use an umbrella because I can't hold it. I need both hands to do my drawings. What do the howler monkeys do when it rains? just get under some big leaves to keep them dry. Leaves to keep them dry. Hey, Gilly! That gives me an idea! We can make you a hat out of these leaves. That would be great! And we can call it the Umbrella Hat! And so, Molly and Gil made umbrella hats for everyone in the rainforest. Umbrella hats! Get your umbrella hats! Made right here in the rainforest! Here you go. Thank you. Whoa, wowzers! <laughs> They're saying thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. <laughs> In the middle of a big rainforest where everything grows, it might be wet and hot, but we love our home far as the eye can see. It goes on and on, the jungle's full of life. Think about different kinds of weather. When the sky is blue and clear, you can see the... Sun! Yup, the sun. And we can splash in puddles when it... Rains. Right, rain makes splashy puddles. And when it's cloudy and really cold, it might just start to... Snow! 
Yup, snow. There's so many different kinds of weather. Let's sing about it. There are different climates in different parts of the world. Different animals and different kinds they prefer. Parrots like the warmth of a tropical beach. And penguins find it pleasant when it's wintery. Temperatures, what a thermometer reads. How low? How high do you like it to be? We'll go where the weather leads. Weather, weather is hot. Weather, weather is cold. Weather temperature drops. Weather sunshine or snow. There's a climate for everyone. Weather, the weather, there's all kinds of places to go. Biggest animal in the ocean, an enormous, gigantic blue whale. <laughs> okay, now I'll eat you all up. Well, actually, blue whales only eat teeny tiny little creatures called krill. Plus, blue whales don't have teeth. She does know a lot about animals. But I've got something I think you're really gonna like. Actually, you probably wouldn't like it. Yes, I would. I would. What is it? What is it? Zuli, why are you helping her? Don't worry, Molly. We'll be okay. Just as long as she doesn't turn into a sea dragon. A what? What did she say? Oh, no. He heard me. She said a sea dragon. A sea dragon? Well, that sounds like the most ferocious, fearsome sea creature of all. I wish to become a sea dragon. A sea dragon? Yup, they're related to seahorses. <laughs> Aww. Uh, I gotta go. And so, Zuli and her new friends brought the little sea dragon back to King Grouper's coral reef. Oh, I'm so glad you're back. I knew you could do it, guppies. Now the oceans are safe from the sea witch forever. We couldn't have done it without you, Zuli. <laughs> Here. Yeah, and I think she's going to make a lot of new friends. <laughs> Goodbye! Bye. Now every creature in the sea knows the water is the place to be so to my ocean animals. I don't get it. Snow in Zanzibar?
This can't be good for the people and animals that live here. Ocean Patrol! Thank goodness they're here! <laughs> what happened? Where did all this snow come from? A pirate ship! It sailed into the harbor and blasted us with snow! A pirate ship making snow? <gasps> that can only mean one thing. Windy, Windy Pete. Pete! Oh, no! Wait, who? He makes it snowy wherever he goes. Nobody knows why. <laughs> what is it, boy? <gasps> That's a red colobus monkey. Poor monkey. She looks really cold. It's way too cold for her. We have to do something, Captain. Well, you've certainly come to the right place. Welcome to Dima's BG Boutique. We have clothing for any kind of weather. We need your help to find the right clothes to warm up the monkey. Which set of clothing will make the monkey feel warm? This one, this one, or this one? That one. Right there. The one with the mitten. Right. This clothing will warm up the monkey. Thanks for your help. Oh, here you go. You little monkey. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll be warmer soon. Snow won't last for long in the tropics. Then come on, crew. Grab some more of those warm clothes and let's go stop Windy Pete. There's a dragon in the park! Run for it! It's a blizzard! <laughs> okay, to find a lizard, we've got to think like a lizard. And find his help! The dragon! It's in my hot dog stand! The pet finders were in the park, approaching the hot dog stand. Lizard! <gasps> it's gone! My hot dogs! It ain't all my hot dogs! We're sorry, sir. But now we know more about the lizard. Hot dogs are meat, right? 100%. <laughs> that means the lizard eats meat. Hello! Shh. Dima, it's Zilli. What kind of lizard eats meat? Oh, that's a good question. One moment, please. It says here that most lizards eat meat. Or bugs. Oh. Well, this lizard ate about... 400 hot dogs! Wowzers! It must be a really big lizard. It says here, some lizards can be as long as a picnic table. As long as a picnic table? <laughs> Thanks, Dima. That's great news. It is? Uh-huh, because a lizard that big can't hide for long. Let's go. My poor buns. Together? Well, it is our last chance to get the wish. Together? Together. Okay, we need to make a trapezoid from these shapes. Which shapes go here? Those. The triangles. That's right, the triangles. And now we just need a rectangle. Wait, but we don't have a rectangle like this. Which two shapes can we put together to make this rectangle? Those two, the squares. Yeah, the squares. We did it. We made a trapezoid.
Congratulations. Thank you. And thank you for your help. Come on, let's go get our wish. Whoa, that's a long way down. Oh, take the slide. It's really fun. See? Bracelets. So nice! You're welcome. So, the three shopkeepers hurried back to the genie with the last of the legendary gemstones. Genie, look! Huh? What? Oh, hi, kids! The sparkliest blue sapphire. Well, this is very precious indeed. those mighty untidy titans. What are we going to do? We're just going to have to go up there and ask them to come tidy up their mess. Ask the titans to tidy up? But we're just simple goat herders. Yeah. Come on, Bubble Puppy. <laughs> Good luck. And so, Zuli and Bubble Puppy went up the mountain to ask the Titans to tidy up their blocks. You are entering the realm of the Titans. Caution, Titans at play. Don't worry, Bubble Puppy. I'm sure the Titans will tidy up if we just ask them nicely. of the mighty untidy titans. Um, my name is Zuli, and I'm just a simple goat herder. Well, a Kalimera, friend. That means good morning in Greek. How can I help you? I'd like to talk to a mighty untidy titan, please. Well, you've certainly come to the right place. Welcome to the top of Mount Untidious, home of the... Mighty Untidy Titans! Titans! Now, which Titan are you looking for? The one whose blocks are all over our farm. Hmm, blocks. We need your help. Which of these palaces belongs to the Titan of Blocks? This one? This one? Or this one? The one with the blocks! Oppa! You did it! That's the palace of the Titan of Blocks! Thanks for your help! It's the Ocean Patrol emergency phone! Ocean Patrol, help! Okay... I need to report a pirate off the island of Bora Bora! Ah ha ha ha! Yo ho ho! In a big blast of snow! snow. Ah ha ha ha! Windy, Windy Pete! Please hurry! Before! Ooh. Okay, 
Ocean Patrol. Next stop, the island of Bora Bora. Ocean, Ocean Patrol. Patrol! But when they got to Bora Bora... Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! Whoa. Looks like Wendy Pete got away again. And he left another snowy, icy mess. Oh no, look! That's a green sea turtle. They only live in warm water. Hang in there, turtle. It'll warm up soon. Hey look, somebody made a snowman. Hello? Okay, but our island isn't. Don't worry. We've got the animals warm and cozy. And the snow will melt soon. We just gotta catch Windy Pete before he strikes again. Can you show us which way he went? Uh-huh. <coughs> hey, Hansel, where'd the puppy and kitty go? Uh-oh. Kitty! Puppy! Kitty! Puppy! Shh! Don't worry. They're in here. Aww. Aww. They're taking a nap. They must be tired from our journey. Cats and dogs need lots of rest. <sighs> I could use a little nap, too. Ooh, that does sound good. And so, they all took a nice little nap. Hmm. After a while, they woke up and continued on their way to find the fairy godmother. It shouldn't be much farther, Hansel. You hear that, boy? You're almost home. <laughs> Hi, friends! Oh, oh no! no! I'm a foul creature. I'm a foul creature, too. Excuse me. What time is it? It's time for... Lunch! What time is it? It's time for lunch! What time is it? It's time for lunch! What time is it? It's time for lunch! It's lunch time! Hey, what's for lunch? Hey, foul creatures only. What'd you get for lunch today? I got a sandwich and a cheese stick. What did you get, foul creature Gobi? I got a sandwich and a mozzarella stick. How about you, foul creature Nani? I got a mozzarella stink. <laughs> <laughs> a mozzarella stink? That's silly. And stinky. <laughs> Listen, someone's coming. Woof. This place smells even worse than the village. Yeah, it smells really foul. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> uh, I'm okay. We, we are, are the foul creatures. creatures. And, and you shall go, go no, no further. further. <laughs> Please let us pass, foul creatures. We're on our way to get our soap and stuff back from Dirty Dima. We were Dirty, Dirty Dima. Dima? She's the one that turned us into foul creatures. <laughs> no offense, but your breath is really... Foul. We know. The only way to get rid of the curse is to clean our teeth. But we forgot how. Because we're so foul. We can help. When your teeth are dirty, what do you do to make them clean? Right, you brush your teeth. Which of these things should the foul creatures use to brush their teeth? A toothbrush, a paintbrush, or a hairbrush? A toothbrush. Right. Now what should they put on the toothbrush to get their teeth clean? Shampoo, toothpaste, or soap? 
Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Right. You only need a pea-sized dot of toothpaste to brush your teeth. Let's brush our teeth and break the curse. It's working! Keep brushing! Hey! You're the Knights of Clean! At your service! How's my breath now? <sighs> Minty Fresh! You can ask your parents to subscribe to Nick Jr.'s Bubble Guppies YouTube channel for new videos every week! And watch full episodes on the Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. channel!